Breaking first on the night beat, a car slammed through the entrance of a restaurant. Thank you for watching. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. A viewer sent us this picture from Sweets Diner in Port Charlotte. You can see the car right there. The night beat, Haley Zarconi is live on scene. Haley, this crash did a lot of damage. Anyone hurt? Thankfully, no. I spoke with the owner and he says other than the car that drove right through here in the diner itself, those are the only damages that are seen here tonight. As you can see behind me, this car went right through the front windows into the dining room and then smashed into the kitchen wall. Luckily, the diner wasn't open when all this happened and right now they're really just trying to recover whatever they can to get ready for the night before tomorrow. And Scott Sweet, the owner of Sweet's Diner, says the person who drove into this business was just learning to drive that she meant to put the car in reverse instead put it in drive and then drove right through he says that he was at dinner after dinner when all of this happened and his phone started blowing up and the cop called me and said that i the building's been hit by somebody and come down here and so after 17 years being in business and surviving two hurricanes and surviving the the depression and the real estate problems, I get sidelined by someone driving their car through the front of my building. And from talking with him on scene here, he's got a pretty positive outlook considering everything that's happened. As you can hear, they are hard at work trying to salvage whatever they can here tonight. And I also spoke with a hostess from Sweets Diner who says she's looking to set up a fundraiser for the diner to help them get back up on their feet. We also reached out to the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office for more information on this, but we haven't heard back from them yet. On the night beat, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.